Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, this isn't normally the kind of video that I make, but I was out here and I wanted to do something a little different today. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be pretty unedited while I do this because why not? Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the importance of self-care during Pride Month as a queer person and a trans person. Not just for Pride Month, uh, obviously, self-care is really important as a queer person right now, just in general, because of all of the things that have been going on and all of everywhere. I've been thinking about it a lot more this past year specifically, because this past year I've been in therapy, which is the very first time I've actually been in therapy that I've wanted to be in and wanting to make better changes for myself and be a better person for myself, which is really weird to be, like, doing that for myself. If you knew me IRL, you would know how uncomfortable doing things for myself I actually am and how hard that kind of thing is for me. Um, but one of the things that over the past almost year that I've been focusing on with my therapist is figuring out self-care that works for me and I've been thinking about self-care a bit more this month because it's pride month and it's really hard as a queer person as a trans person to you know feel that pride spirit this year it's been honestly somewhat hard to feel it the past couple years for me because of the pandemic and because of the country I live in, you know, passing laws about, you know, <laughs> trans stuff and LGBT stuff and the possibility of just not being able to get the health care that I need and the discrimination that has always been there, but slowly more accepted and especially in the bills that are in, and laws that are being passed. It's just hard to feel that you're cared about as a queer person so I don't know having those little moments of self-care like this this is my favorite way of self-care <laughs> at the moment um like it's beautiful y'all look at look at this shit I can't I love the woods I, I love being out here um those are like the little things that like I do going on walks and um, I've been working out more, taking better care of my body, eating better, trying to not hate my body as much as I do. Um, and like pertaining that to pride and everything, it doesn't necessarily have to be this. Like, your happy thing doesn't necessarily have to be this. That's just mine. Um, it's so hard. And it's because I know a lot of y'all, a lot of people in my community, like, feel the same way, have a hard time with certain aspects about being queer, whether it be family, not accepting, or needing to move out, um, not feeling like you can fully be yourself, and I completely understand that, and I remember being that way, and it's not fun, especially when you're younger and you don't think that anything is ever going to change, and it's really hard <laughs> to imagine yourself as an adult. And I still have a hard time imagining myself at, like, I'm a 26-year-old adult human. I don't feel like an adult. Like, I feel like, I still feel like a kid. I still feel like I'm just figuring myself out. And that's something that I feel like, I know cis straight people have those issues too, but I feel like as queer people, we specifically have that trauma of growing up and having to pretend to be someone that we're not and then slowly figuring out in our 20s when we have that freedom and independence to be like oh shit who actually am I um what do I believe in what am I here for um 
essentially constructing your own identity when most of society tells you you should have all of that done by now. Um, it can be really hard on your mental health. I know it's been hard for me. <laughs> and I've, over the last three years, and I genuinely, like, low-key thank the pandemic for it, even though, like, it, it was horrible. Um, having that time to really explore who I am and know, starting to know what I want in life and for myself and being a little selfish and working on my mental health being better and figuring out what I like to do and what makes me feel better. It's such a valuable thing, especially as a queer person, because it's so tough right now. Like, I know there are people trying to move out of Florida right now. I know there are people trying to move out of Texas and other states right now. I know that's not specific just to the United States. I know other countries have so much worse punishments for being queer and being trans. And it's... I've never understood why people care so much about something that they don't... <laughs> like, it doesn't pertain to them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've just been thinking a lot about mental health and stuff as a queer person and how important it is for queer p people to not only have access to, like, medical care, but also mental health care because of the different ways that we experience things compared to everyone else in, like, a cishet normative, heteronormative society. Um, and honestly, if anyone out there is looking for therapy, looking for resources, um, I know for me, what I did was I literally went to the LGBTQ plus center in my state. I called them up and asked if, if they knew of any queer friendly practices that had decent queer therapists and they gave me a bunch and I just went through in my insurance and whoever took me took me and I absolutely adore my therapist they I literally have a trans polyam therapist and it's great um and it's just been so beneficial to me because I've been able to figure out what helps me feel better and utilizing those resources a lot this month and it's been really really nice to like know that even if I need to take a social media break if I need to just tap out for a day that it's okay and that's another thing that a lot of people judge others for especially on the internet thinking that you have to be plugged in all of the time and you don't. You can unplug and it's okay. You can take care of yourself and go for hikes and walks and watch your favorite TV show, take a bath, um, knit, crochet, do art, play your favorite video game, watch your favorite movie, go hang out with your friends, interact with people in real life. Um, and get away from all of the messiness that we see on a daily basis. It's not good for mental health whatsoever. And I know for me, because I follow a lot of like trans activists on TikTok and a lot of people who report on all of the bills that are being passed in my country, it can become a lot and it's okay to just <laughs> deactivate. <laughs> um, I don't know what this little rant is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just, I was out here thinking about mental health, thinking about being queer, thinking about being trans, thinking about all of the things that all, thinking about how The world can be an awful place, but also a wonderful place. <laughs> and there's so much duality, and there's so much hate on one side, and there's so much love on one side. And so 
interesting to me um, and finding the right balance of figuring out how much you can hear about what's going on on the hateful side and knowing that you can have support on the love side is absolutely beautiful to me. So yeah, that's just a little Lynn rant about mental health and Pride Month and being queer and being trans. Um, it's a little tangent. I know this isn't normally what I do. <laughs> so I hope y'all like it. I hope you're okay with it. And yeah, I promise next week's videos will not be like this. If you ever do want to just hear me rant about, like, random stuff, be sure to leave a comment below. Especially here, I absolutely, like, come on, who wouldn't want to rant in this environment? So yeah, let me know in the comments how y'all are doing self-care during this Pride Month. It's so important, y'all. Take care of yourselves. It is a really hard year to be queer. It's a, it's a hard time just to be queer anyway. I know, just in general, it's hard to be queer <laughs> and trans. So, yeah, um, yeah, let me know how, what you do to help your mental health, um, and especially during Pride Month, what you do, but all year round as well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.